conversation with Mirik and this young man. I do say you're young, right? What, you're yeah. 59? I'm, I'm, I'm 45. 45? 45. Is Ronnie Fontilius. Yes, <laughs> there you go. So if you want to say the Filipino way, Fontilius. Fontilius. You want to say it the Spanish way? Why didn't you say that earlier? Fontilius, I'm, I'm telling you, right? You know? <laughs> this is Mr. Casadillas. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yep. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, um, again, you know, as you folks know that all of a sudden our background changed. Just a little. This time around, we actually, our, our neighborhood Starbucks has uh, finally said yes for us to do one of these shows here. So uh, here we are. The general manager left, so we tricked the other manager into letting us do this. Yeah. It, it, it was a nice little <laughs> shoe in there. We said, they said it was okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all we said. Yeah, the other guy said it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can't corroborate the story. So, Ronnie. Yes. Um, as you know, we're a show of, of just type. Two, two, yeah, we're a show of two crazy guys. Uh, we, we like to talk about martial arts. Yep. But more That's than true. that, we, we like to talk about the person that we're talking to. Yeah. Um, I've been hearing about you. And I, you know, I've been trying to contact you for yeah. like a year and a half, maybe almost two years. Yeah. I've been, I'm like, hey, would you like? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> or ignoring the texts that we sent. I don't sent. even know you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of months back, we met up at one of the gatherings. Or yeah. not gatherings, sorry. DEA workshop, yeah. Yeah. right? And I said, hey, are you willing to do this? He goes, you know, I've watched your shows enough. Yeah, I think you guys are okay. <laughs> we taped one right there. Right, yeah, that's true. So that was the yeah. betting, that yeah. was the betting system, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, you guys are all right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're not full of shit. Well, we are full of shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely, <laughs> right? So, where did you get your start in the martial arts? I mean, how, how old and, and um, did you used to get beat up, first of oh, all? Yeah, I got bullied as a kid. You really? know, I'll be honest with you. You know, that that's how it was, but... I, I also had a, a first generation Filipino short dad that was like, my son is not going to get beat up. You, you, you need to learn how to fight, you know? Yeah, and, dad. You know? And I'm telling you, my dad came from the uh, uh, Sambalas, Philippines, okay. where he was... Uh, Sambalas, I know yeah. that place. He was an Ilocano. He came oh, from shit. a family of 10 guy, uh, ten brothers and sisters, and oh, he was one of the oldest. He's second line and oldest, and he right. was always taking care of his brothers and sisters. That's awesome. And yeah. when, we, when he moved here, he didn't have that thought yet that my kids were going to have to go through the same thing that we did. But he grew up here in uh, Third Street, right off of uh, uh, the Bayview, uh, in the Bayview. Holy cow, that's, you know, that's... So him and his brother said uh, Van Dyke and Third Street. Uh, I know, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we've I'm heard from so San Francisco, stories, yeah, so and that's the place we don't, I don't even like to go there. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> so whenever we would go to my grandfather's house, uh -huh. he would have something with him. You always, know? Yeah. always. And oh, I, yeah. I remember me and my mom going, why do you need a gun? Why do you need a gun? There's something like, as a gun. He's okay. like, <laughs> we he, goes, he goes, well, do you know where we are? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. You know? No, that, that area is yeah. it's exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, nobody goes to hunt HP. Yeah. No. Nope. Or Bayview. Yep. Yeah. Or Third Street. <laughs> I have family all over San Francisco. I even have uh, uh, by the Cow Palace. Right, which is uh, Sunny Dell. Sunny yeah, Dell. I used to be over there. Yeah, off of Geneva. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you remember Geneva of, Towers? Yeah, Geneva Towers, See? exactly. And we've yeah. talked about that on our show. Yeah. yeah. This is oh, the place where the police, be... ambulance, and fire trucks don't, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> you get the house can be on, on fire. People are flying off the. Show. They're like, <laughs> where? There again? Where? Yeah. Oh, you know what? We don't have coverage. Yeah. Fire your ass a block away. <laughs> yeah, drag the body. Yeah. Drag the body down the street. We'll be yeah, there. Exactly. We'll meet you at KFC. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly how it was. So, you know, growing up like that and, and watching my dad be as this tough, tough guy. Yeah. You know, I was like, well, why can't I be that tough? You know, I, I, I don't, I, you know, everybody's so nice to me. Right. Until they weren't nice to me. Right. Right. When they weren't nice to me, I thought I'm gonna get in trouble if I do something about it. Really? Yeah. Because my Oh, you're more afraid of your dad. I was more afraid of my dad and my mom about, you know, oh you're supposed to finish school and right. just do this and be a good good student. That if I stepped outside of that, I felt like, oh no, I'm gonna get in trouble. Dude. Yeah. My eleven year old drop kicked some kid at school. <laughs> Because he was bullying one of her friends. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. They, he, 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 they were they were playing, but yeah. then it went too far, and she ended up on the other side of some bleachers. Yeah. So 
here comes my daughter, drops kick the dude and says, do that shit again, I'm gonna drop you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so he just bashfully kind of went away and didn't know what to say. Because yeah. his friends were like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. You know, it, it's, it's one of those things that we try to do with our kids nowadays. I do it with my own kids. I'm like, don't you let nobody, you know? Yeah. Because right. I've been through it. You yeah, know? Don't, don't just put your head down and yeah. grind. My dad, though, because he was the, and I'll shit you not, he was the black sheep of his family. Uh. So he was outcasted by my grandfather for a while. He was like, oh, Roger, he's such a hard head. I don't want to, you know, this and that. And my dad had to conform. You right. know, to being uh, this too. person, and he Been said, "Been there, done that." Right? <laughs> and he said, <laughs> "You yeah. are going to be a good kid. That's it. That's it." <laughs> you had no right? choice. Don't I had no be choice. like me. Don't be. <laughs> like me. And I'll yeah. tell you. I remember that. Way, you know. I remember that talking. <laughs> but, but that first bullying moment when my dad got wow. called and he said, "You know, hey," I told him, "I said the guy said he was going to borrow my bike." He never came back. Uh, you know? yeah. My dad said, we're walking over there right now. We're going to go get your bike. Right. And then he gave me the little speech after we got our bike back. Nice. When we got home, he was like, put on the gloves. You know, I was about maybe 10 years old at the time. He put on the gloves. And my mom was like, honey, don't hurt him. Don't, you know. <laughs> and and nah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to hurt him. Don't worry. You know, and... and and he gave me the whole speech. He said, you know what, I need you, I want you to do this. If anybody's messing with you, you stand your ground. I took that as a green light. Oh, no. He, uh, he said, he said he had my back. <laughs> cool. That's what he heard. <laughs> <laughs> I can fight. What, I can kill somebody? I'm yeah, <laughs> exactly. And um, you took know, the other that, was, that was probably the entryway of me going, it's okay. Right. So two days later, he said, when do I get the knife, Dad? <laughs> oh, yes. got the gun. Oh, my <laughs> God. Gun, yeah. Oh, my God. You know, my dad was the, the gun guy. <laughs> Military, he was oh, like, you know, okay. he was like, I here, let me show you this. <laughs> you know, uh, How old were you when, when the bike was taken? So I was about maybe, maybe about 10 years old. Yeah, okay. So old. I imagine his dad... What you do with the bike? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, man. I'm telling you, I've never heard we'll my dad be as stern as he was at that moment when he was talking to the neighbor and he was like, your son took my son's bike. Give me the bike back or something's going to happen. You know? And I was like, oh, oh, you're my superhero. Right now. Yeah, I'm imagining him. I know he said this. But was it more like this? Yes, it was. <laughs> you know, and that's that's where, you know, because, like, I was, again, I, I grew up in a time where he was trying to mold me to be this this great citizen, which, you know, right, you, right. you, yeah. you yeah. had Compliant to be, you know, bit, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I even, you know, I even got a little bit of the, the <laughs> racism that he grew up in, you know, because yeah. I remember <clears throat> him telling me, you will never be white. You will never, that's I don't right. care how well you do you will never be white so i'll tell you a crazy story about that yeah. i i've been here since i was three yeah you sound yeah, right i don't phone. i don't have a filipino accent right? <laughs> so i i work at united yeah. and when i first first in my first two years there was hell with the filipinos yeah they said you're not filipino, you're not filipino. enough you can't hang out with yeah. us you know we don't want you to eat with us you know how yeah. they always yeah. oh these are the kind of yeah, yeah, like yeah, no yeah. you're you're white <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, exactly and with the white people are like oh you're yeah. filipino yeah you know, like, exactly where do, where do i go here? here with the beaners yeah yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm yeah. Telling you. but it, it was I'm mexican horrible. folks it's yeah. okay for me to yeah. say yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> <But> disclaimer <laughs> that, that is that's the thing that you know you 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 don't really think about it because you know you thought about it before and I was like, oh, that was that's in the history book. But right? little, and, and we know? were young. Yeah, we didn't know. We didn't know, right? You know, that was the, that was yeah. the hard lesson that you uh, learned when you got into your teens. Yeah, and people were like, now you're starting to get singled yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Push this and that. The fobs hated me. Yeah, I was in fight to school all the time. Yeah. you know, I mean, it was just bad. I had to join ROTC. Yeah, there you go. Right? <laughs> so that's the Filipino yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they, when they see you in uniform, oh, now uh, you're Filipino. <laughs> you know? I didn't recognize you with that. <laughs> oh, you should have told me. I did. I told you a yeah. hundred times. Yeah. <laughs> For the past four years. <laughs> no, exactly. Oh and God. so at that point, 
my dad said, you know, he, he, he was a boxer, you, you know, and you always think the, the stories coming from your, your parents are embellished. Right. Right. You know, yeah, right. You're, you weren't the Golden Gloves boxer. <laughs> you were not, you know, this and yeah. that, right. But my dad had this persona behind him, and I didn't, it didn't get confirmed to me until later on in life. Oh. By his brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say until he punched you, you know, in the mouth, and then you're you like, know. Oh, "I believe you." Yeah. He, oh, believe me, my dad. <laughs> uh, my first bloody nose was probably from my dad, you know. And I was like, "I can bleed. Look, I'm bleeding." <laughs> he you was know? happy about it. <laughs> yes. Mom, yes. look what dad did. <laughs> I am a real boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Boy. Nowadays you go CPS. Um, <laughs> There's something going on there, you yeah. know, but... I hear kids screaming. Yeah. He didn't have a bloody nose when he walked in. Yeah. <laughs> now he has a black eye. Oh, man. I'm telling you. And then, like I said, that was my entryway into, like, okay, it's okay to fight. Right. So my dad says, hey, what do you want to do? You want to do boxing? You know, I said, well, there's a karate school down the street. Oh, you know? nice. Happened to walk into it. We got started over there. It was uh, uh, Back then, it was called Imperial Dragon uh, Kajukembo. And, uh, that was oh, by first. the way, yeah. he does not have a cup. So when we do <laughs> demos, when we have demos, leave the nether region alone. All right, alone. okay, all right. So, so you know, you can't do the first, you can't 13. do the first thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard about that. <laughs> I'm telling you that, I, I, and I always, I always, you know, kind of, you, you always hear that. Oh yeah, if you you hit there, you better hit there, or you're not, you know, you're gonna piss the guy off. Oh, right. I've practiced it enough that I know. I, <laughs> there it is. Wait. You know? <laughs> oh, that's how it serves you good in work, then. Huh? It's just a soft good. touch. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I started with Imperial Dragon, got my first taste of Kajikembo there. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, Grandmaster Bob Hernandez. Thank you again. Um, Another Bob. Yeah. And then, um, uh, then I got into sports. Girls. Uh, you know, that's where my confidence level started coming up. You hey. know, I was like. <clears throat> And he's got that pretty you know. face, so so that helped a lot of it. So you know, I mean, you know, I got, I got stuff, I got, you know, uh, things that came around, and like, hey, let's go do this, and life got in the way. Right. Then I came, uh, my best friend, one of my best friends, J.C. Batista, who's the nephew of uh, Grandmaster Brian Yoshi. Oh. Brian Yoshi, uh, <coughs> high-ranking okay. under uh, Grandmaster um, uh, Charles Gaylord. Okay. okay. Grandmaster wow. Bylo- uh, under uh, Gaylord. Uh, yes. Right. Grandmaster Brian Yoshi, they, he said, you know, hey, I do Kajikembo. I said, I do Kajikembo too. And so, like, when my best friend said, you know, hey, let's let's do this together. So we, we went to Golden <coughs> Dragon, which was under Grandmaster Pete Morales, Grandmaster Casey uh, McPartland. Mm-hmm. Uh, my chief instructor at the time was uh, Grandmaster, uh, well, uh, <coughs> Sifu, Casey McPartland. And I always remember oh, them as Sifu. Then we had Anthony Wade and Bob Hernandez. I mean Bob Gomez, yeah. and uh, you know. So that's when I got into them. And then, then because we were of age, it was like, hey, I want to test this out. Besides the street fights, because every every street fight you get into, it's it's not a trained fighter. You right. know, never ends real quick. <laughs> you know? Somebody oh. got knocked out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you guys both look at each you hit each other in the face and go, okay. We're even. You, you, <laughs> you, know, you walked away, right? Good. <laughs> so we went into... Yeah, I'm telling you. And then we would go to tournaments. Every, we were called the Weekend Warriors every weekend. You know, Out of the whole school, it was like two of us that, hey, we're going to this tournament this weekend. Anthony Wade would take us to the tournaments. He took us to Stockton, took us to San Francisco. Uh, I, I fought in Hibuna's tournament, fought in uh, uh, Tony Ramos' tournament, you know, and, yeah. oh, wow. and you know, and Ron Esteller's tournament, Ron, uh, Grandmaster Ron Esteller. So, you know, when we started doing this, and again, throughout all this, the only person that really supported me in what we were doing was my martial arts instructors and my best friend. Because when we were doing these things, we were taking home trophies. Right. Taking home trophies and my parents would drop me off and pick me up and then I had this big ass trophy and I'd go, Mom, Dad, look, I got grand champion. And they're like, okay, get in the car now. You got yep. homework to do. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's, that's Filipino family. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. They throw it in the truck. Yeah. I was going to say, just one more shit to put in the house. Right? right. And, and that's what they, well, what do you need that for? You know, it's just going to collect dust. You, you already know? have some. <laughs> exactly. No, no, it's not, you already have some. It's, you already have one. Yeah. One. You know? That's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need. 
but it, it became a thing. Dude, I love your family all of a sudden. I'm telling you. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> they remind me of mine. <laughs> Man, right? Uncles and aunts. Yeah. yeah. So I have, I, you know, my story could go uh, way deep, but long story short, I ended up sticking with Golden Dragon. Okay. Um, I trained with them. You know, I got, uh, of course, life gets in the way. You, you, you train for a couple of years. You go do life, work, whatever it is, and then you come back. Right. So I ended up getting, uh, linking again with um, Bob Gomez and James Marshall, and then I uh, got my black belt in 2010. 20, oh, 2009, 2009. Mm -hmm. Got my black belt in 2009 uh, under Sean Hayes. Okay. Sean Hayes, if you guys don't know who Grandmaster Sean Hayes is, Sean Hayes is Hayes Martial Arts. He, he was known as Spider-Man. He was, he was under Grandmaster Brian Yoshi. Mm -hmm. And they called him Spider-Man because he was this tall, skinny guy with long legs and had daddy long legs. You know, he literally, he's oh, standing this far away from you and he and thought, I'm going to kick you. you know? <laughs> oh, I'm going to kick you. And you're like, yeah, right. And smack, and you just go, where'd that come from? You know, but that that's who he is. And then um, from that point on, kind of refined, you know, trained my, my Kaji Kembo. Uh -huh. I started venturing out, talking to different people like Mickey Lopez, Ron Steller. <laughs> The uh, Kinji family from LA. Wow. Um, you know, I mean, you were I, traveling. I was traveling, yeah. yeah. Uh, just trying to soak in knowledge. Whoever was willing to give me some some type of knowledge, I would, yeah. you know. Uh, do you, you should have, have just your, started your, a show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah do, do like what we're doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do, do you have your own school now? Um, so, no, I don't have my own school. I was teaching under Grandmaster Sean Hayes. Right. Um, our school was. Uh, at a location at one point, but then the owner took the building, and so we had to go online since pandemic. Yeah. Right. Um, but when it came to the adults, we had a few higher level students that I would do privates with. Oh, nice. And so, um, one yeah. of the things, getting back to Grandmaster Sean Hayes, is that he, you know, we knew that sticks were in Kajikembo, right? We knew that there was either Dose Paris or or you know yeah. whatever Filipino martial art that we thought it was, but nobody could really say this was the one. This right. was the one that that they did, or you know. And so we, you know, what he was doing. He went to North Carolina and he hooked up with somebody that he found on, on the, the, you know, pages. On the yeah. yellow pages. He was like, hey, Google. Filipino martial arts. Let me call this guy. And it ended up becoming uh, Grandmaster Bobby Tawada. What? Who, yeah, the Bobby <laughs> you Tawada, found Bobby Leo the, the founder of you know, yeah, yeah. you know, of his system. Yeah. And he was like, you know, hey, come on over. And he, he he trained with him for about six, seven years, and then brought it back here. Holy crap! You know, Bobby Tawada. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been wanting to play with some of his stuff. Yeah, the, the, he's blood Tawada. Right? Yes, Quintada system. Um, mm -hmm. He's. Uh, he trained with the Villasins and the, yeah. uh, you know, um, Anchong Bakon, you yeah, know, Bacon, so, yeah. you know. Uh, oh, no, he's he's a legend already. Yeah. We, we, everybody knows it, him. It's crazy how, like... Did, did he uh, teach you how to dance? Oh. oh <laughs> <laughs> he taught me how to look handsome. Because right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Bobby is all about flair. He's yeah. like, you got to look good doing whatever <laughs> you do. He was like, I may have been, you know, one of the... Uh, the Slowest in learning, uh -huh. but I'm the most handsomest. <laughs> and I'm like, there you go. That's it. That's the guy I want to be with. Yeah, right? that's your claim to fame. I mean, <laughs> but uh, you know, so when when I started training that, um, I I took a real good liking to it because not only was it new to me, and it was like, wow, so flashy and so so right to the point. It was also part of my heritage that, you know, you uh, yeah. I was trying to get in touch with, you know, and and, and it just made me feel better to, to train this every day. And I started training with, with Sean and, and um, uh, Rick, uh, oh, um, I forgot the names, but, you know, I'm really bad with <laughs> Everyone names, forgets you know, Rick. Yes. Oh, yeah, everybody forgets me. They, uh, they, they brought me in and, and they started teaching. And then uh, eight years, six years later, I got my uh, uh, completion of the art, which is level six. The the next level is uh, COI, which is a um, certified instructor, certified, um, uh, sorry, qualified instructor, ah. QI, you know? So uh, all I have to do is I've got a few things to, you know, yeah. uh, put in my own techniques and then uh, 
uh, test in front of Grandmaster Bobby again, and there you go, you know. But of course, there's like little things that that come along with it, you know, the the, the way you stand, the way that you deliver, the way that you teach, right? Yeah. And I think that's that's the the common ground what makes you that particular art. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, but does it necessarily have to be your opinion? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Right? You know. So. You know, and, and hearing that because I, you know. Obviously, we haven't met Bobby yet. Yeah. Um, we'd love to have him on the show, but like I like show. the idea that you're talking about that you have